This is an English listening practice. I will read the same sentence twice. Please fill the blank space with a word. Let's get started. And it is in fresh water that we find seven genera of ganoid fishes, remnants of a once preponderant order. And in fresh water we find some of the most anomalous forms now known in the world, as the Ornithorhynchus and Lepidosiren, which, like fossils, connect to a certain extent orders now widely separated in the natural scale. These anomalous forms may almost be called living fossils. They have endured to the present day, from having inhabited a confined area, and from having thus been exposed to less severe competition. And it is in fresh water that we find seven genera of ganoid fishes, remnants of a once preponderant order. And in fresh water we find some of the most anomalous forms now known in the world, as the Ornithorhynchus and Lepidosiren, which, like fossils, connect to a certain extent orders now widely separated in the natural scale. These anomalous forms may almost be called living fossils. They have endured to the present day, from having inhabited a confined area, and from having thus been exposed to less severe competition. To sum up the circumstances favorable and unfavorable to natural selection, as far as the extreme intricacy of the subject permits. I conclude, looking to the future, that for terrestrial productions a large continental area, which will probably undergo many oscillations of level, and which consequently will exist for long periods in a broken condition, will be the most favorable for the production of many new forms of life, likely to endure long and to spread widely. To sum up the circumstances favorable and unfavorable to natural selection, as far as the extreme intricacy of the subject permits. I conclude, looking to the future, that for terrestrial productions a large continental area, which will probably undergo many oscillations of level, and which consequently will exist for long periods in a broken condition, will be the most favorable for the production of many new forms of life likely to endure long and to spread widely.